Hello, welcome back. So in the last lecture, we have seen the configuration of business rules engine in which we have created a decision matrix and an expression set and we have called that expression set as an action in an screen flow and we have got the resultant uh, prices and discounts in the screen flow by providing the level of the partner. So the same thing we are going to do in this lecture as well but instead of a screen flow we are going to use omniscript here. So to use the expression set in an omniscript we need to create an integration procedure and we need to uh, call the expression set from that and then we can use that integration procedure in an omni script to provide the level of the partner and get the resultant prices so let's begin with the integration procedure so i am on the integration procedure tab i'm just going to click new and i'm going to give it a name as partner level discount integration procedure type i am selecting as sample subtype i am selecting as save account details okay and i am just going to click save now we can start configuring this integration procedure so from the left section of the available components we need to use expression set action so i'll just drag it and drop it here and i am just giving it a name as uh, partner level discount expression set action okay now we need to provide the name of the expression set over here in the configuration name field so i'll just go back to my expression set copy this name and populate it here so if you have provided the correct name no uh, message is going to come if uh, you are not providing the correct name of the expression set it is going to give you a message as no expression set found with this name so we are not getting any message so that means our expression set name is correct now in the send response transformations we need to provide the send json node that is going to be partner level okay it has to be same as the input variable on your expression set so that is partner level so the same i have provided as the send json node over here once that is done uh, you have to use and response action as well so whatever you are getting out of this expression set action you uh, you uh, provide the response to your omni script for further usage okay so uh, i'm just uh, giving it the same name as element name as response action one and i'm just going to copy this uh, uh, expression set action name and uh, in the send json path i am going to paste it over here so basically whatever result is coming out of this uh, uh, action it is going as the uh, response out of it this out of this integration procedure once that is done let's save this uh, integration procedure and once it is saved let's go to preview tab and let's add a key value pair and here let me just uh, provide partner level as the key and let me provide the value as gold and uh, let's execute and let's see what is happening so you can see uh, the uh, results are coming in with the final price of 800 discounted price of 200 and the discount is 20 percent let me change it with silver and execute it again so for silver 10 percent discount is coming and the discounted price and final prices are coming that means our integration procedure is successfully calling the expression set and by passing the partner level it is giving us the resultant prices okay so uh, now let's go back to properties and let's activate this version all right so our integration procedure is ready to be used in our omni script now let's go to omni scripts tab and let's click new let me give it a name as uh, partner level discount okay type i'm giving as sample and uh, subtype i'm giving as edit account click save so this is our omni script console and under under the step one first we need to provide the pick list so that end user can select the level of the partner 
So from the right side under the build tab go to the input section and uh, drag and drop select component over here or select element over here. Give it a name as partner level okay and uh, field label also field label i'm giving as partner level with a space and uh, name i'm giving as partner level without a space okay and again we need to add the option over here so click add new option and uh, first uh, i'm giving silver value and label i'm giving as same save and new gold save and new and platinum okay click save so our pick list is ready for use now we need to call the integration procedure so from the build i'll just uh, go to the action and uh, i will drag and drop the integration procedure action just below this partner level pick list and uh, i'm giving the uh, name i'm keeping it is same and label i'm giving as get uh, uh, discount price okay or get final price let's say so it is coming as a button on the uh, screen so on click of this this in, uh, integration procedure is going to be fired and uh, it is going to uh, provide the partner level from this pick list which we have selected and it is going to give us the resultant prices so here we need to select the integration procedure so if uh, you go back to your integration procedure in the uh, details you can see that uh, we have given the type as sample and we have given the subtype as uh, uh, save account details so using these names we need to select our integration procedure so i'll go back to the omni script and uh, i'm going to select search for sample save account details okay you are not gonna get your integration procedure with this name with the integration procedure name instead you are going to get it using the combination of your type and subtype okay that is basically how uh, the components work and their naming conventions work in Omni Studio. Okay, so we have selected the integration procedure, and under this one combination uh, name, there would be only one activated version, which in our case is ours. Okay, which we have created here. Now we need to provide the uh, input to this. Uh, uh, integration procedure so uh, expand the send response transformations and uh, provide the send json path so this send json path is going to be the uh, partner level okay and uh, if you come back to our integration procedure and if you preview it so let's see uh, what kind of json we are getting so we are getting the output node then we are getting calculation results and under that we are getting the actual uh, details that uh, uh, we are going to use so i will just uh, trim our json using this so i will come back to send response transformations in the response json path i am giving output colon calculation results okay output colon calculation results so we are going to get at last only this much of json if we uh, do the json path like that way okay and uh, response json node let's uh, define the uh, result which is coming as the uh, uh, let's say result only okay and once that is done we need to uh, add one more screen component kind of here to showcase the summary so for that i'll just go back to build and uh, i'm gonna use input text element over here okay uh, not text element uh, let's use text area okay can we use text area no 
let's see what other yeah display text block let's use which would be more suitable for us so i'm just uh, giving uh, it a name as a summary block okay and in this block we need to give the uh, summary basically so first heading would be summary and then i am giving the base price which is 1000 okay then partner level in which i am going to use percent percent partner level okay so if you are using partner level in this way using the percent percent then whatever is uh, selected in this pick list is going to be populated over there okay now uh, we need to provide uh, the discount percent okay then we need to provide or we need to show the discount uh, price discounted price and then at last we need to show final price okay now let's see how we can uh, showcase these values over here so if i go back to this integration procedure and under the send response transformations if you see here we have given uh, the result as a, as a node uh, as a response json node so we are going to use this context variable to get the values in here so here all i have to do is percent percent result colon okay you need to use colon not dot and you need to give the uh, exact values which uh, uh, which integ integration procedure is returning so i'm just giving these first and let's go and see what it is giving so final price discounted price and let me copy this one because this is bigger one okay let's come back here so in the discount i am pasting this one as it is let me remove extra spaces okay and for this i am just giving discounted price and for this i am giving final price okay save it now let's preview it because everything is done we have given the pick list field to select the partner level we have configured the integration procedure to provide the partner level to it and get the resultant prices and we are showing all those prices in the summary section over here so let's click on the preview button over here and uh, let it load okay so currently you can see uh, nothing is uh, uh, showing over here uh, only the base price which is constant it is showing thousand so let's select the silver and click on get final price okay uh, if you can see on the left side uh, things are not working properly on the right side although we have got the results that for silver we have got the final price is 900 uh, discounted price is 100 and discount percentage is 10 so let's see what is uh, uh, not right over here so uh, okay first let's let's see uh, whether partner level is coming or not okay partner level is coming so that is fine okay so for uh, let's see we have given the result and we have given this okay and uh, let's check our integration procedure response transformations as well so we have used uh, output and calculation results we have used output colon calculation results okay and we are using response json node as result and here okay let's try with with without the uh, percent whether it works that way or not so let's preview it again let's give silver no okay i guess some problem with the discount percentage 
so obviously we need to give the percentage over here but i guess this percentage is uh, causing the problems so let me just uh, give it uh, in the form of a word discount percentage and uh, all remaining same let's save it and let's preview it again yeah i guess now it's going to come properly so click silver and click get final price so you can see now the details are coming properly we have the base price as thousand we have the partner level as silver we have discount percentage as 10 discounted price okay discounted price is not coming and final price is coming correctly which is 900 so let's see what is uh, we have missed so i'm just gonna copy it okay if there is a different yeah i haven't given the correct uh, name over here okay so let me give the correct name over here okay let's save it again and now let's preview it so let's try with the platinum value now so base price is thousand partner level is platinum discount percentage is 30 and uh, price is 300 discounted price and final price is 700 let's try with gold and uh, discount percentage is 20 discounted price is 200 and final price is 800 that means our omni script is uh, successfully calling the integration procedure by providing the partner level and further our integration procedure is calling the expression set and further it is calling to the decision matrix and giving the input of the partner level getting in the result the discount percentage and then further it is calculating the discounted price and final price and it is returning to the on integration procedure and integration procedure is again returning to omni script so that is basically how uh, this process is going to work if you want to use expression set or decision matrix in your omni script so that's all we are going to discuss in this video thanks for watching